Pressure again. O'Hara on the run. Throws incomplete. That was Mike Dana who was providing the pressure. The grad transfer from Central Michigan. Yep. Down to the one. First and goal. O'Hara on the key. Stops short. Second and five. O'Hara. First and ten at the 40-yard line. Slumka. Slumka. I think in terms of talent, Ohio State has more. Let's just see how far the Huskers have come. On second down, a little toss to Blackshear. Blackshear caught from behind by Mac D Mike Dana. Correct that stuff in a week. He's very correct. On first down, Pacheco trying to find room. Mike Dana. He saw the field better and he was protected better. First down and 10 at the two yard line. A little breathing room from Kron Adams, the freshman running back. Sargent, the single setback with Stanley. Sargent running it, not a lot of room, and the Hawkeyes will have to punt it away. Makes it a first down to the 43. Young running left. Gets downhill, spins. At the 38. Young. Closing moments of the third quarter, second and five. Stanley, deep drop, steps up and sacked again. This time it's Michael Dana in for Quiddy Pay. Pay left the game with two and a half sacks. Michael Dana replaces him and picks up his first sack of the game. Fifth overall for Michigan. Goods into the backfield as the single setback. And they give it to him. Changes directions, hops through the hole. Transferring to Illinois. And a run play on first down to Reggie Corbin. True freshman Isaiah Williams in it. Get a quarterback. Here's Corbin. He just can't seem to find any running room. It's been a great job of the Illini taking advantage of it. Robinson going to keep it. And he stretches out on his end. Touchdown, Illinois. Was his knee down at the one before the ball crossed the plane? On the hash. Yep. Time to throw, though. Nope. In trouble, Robinson gets hit. Ball flutters. It is intercepted. And did Kemp get in? He did not, but it's going to be first and goal. Michigan at the one. Two takeaways by the Wolverine defense in crunch time. in the field was a fumble. It was recovered in midair by the defense. The ball is down at the one yard line. First goal, Michigan. So rule the fumble recovery, but doesn't matter because it was caught by Kemp. Michigan brings pressure. Clifford is flush and just fires off his back foot into the open field. Is knocked down hard by Michael Dana. I think the uh, I think he got outside of, the, of that tackle zone. He ended up throwing it down the field where there was nobody there, but he's definitely well outside of that tackle area. But how about Michigan's defense? They get a stop here, three and out. Much his head. Hit. Boom. Yeah, that's a big hit there by, by Dana. There's Kane on a second down run. And Third and six. Book has a little time. He's being spied, and he's got nowhere to run. They were all over the quarterback. Well, one of the things with Ian Book is if he comes off of his primary receiver, he has a tendency to bring his eyes down, comes off. Now he's looking to get out of there. That's exactly what Michigan wants. On third down, they want him to pull it. And you have Dana there and also McGrone. Armstrong. Knocked down after a yard. Fine this year. He played a little bit last year, but he's really grown up this year. Here's Leak, the ball carrier. Now they go back to McFarland. The Terps go back to McFarland. Straight ahead on second and five. From the Wolverines. Terps run right into that blitz. It's Dana again. The stop. Gain a one. Second first down by a penalty. 
And they'll run it with Elijah Collins. From out of that bracket's coverage, which is so hard to beat. Third and three at the 38, Lewerke with time. Lewerke, though, will be sacked. Michael Dana gets to the quarterback for a four-yard loss. The Central Michigan grad transfer He's up at the top left, and he's going to get yourself all the way in there. And it was terrific coverage down the field. He might have had a shot there to take Elijah Collins on the wheel route. He was working against Cam McGrone, number 44, the inside linebacker. But Lewerke didn't see him, and Dana is able to get home for the sack. Officials calling it tight early, first down. They'll run the end around, and it's Elijah Collins stopped by Michael Dana. Second down and nine at the 49. Collins can't wiggle through the hole. Michael Donna got a hand on him early. For the sophomore from Indianapolis. Second and seven. And the rookie running the vert reverse with Barnett. Barnett, oh, beautiful run. And right now, Michigan State has been in a downturn when it comes to the recruiting process. They don't quite have the players they had in those few years where they were making the college football playoff and winning Big Ten championships. Against this very fast Michigan defense. Stevie Scott, their leading rusher. Get Stevie Scott back at the ball game. Here he is. Much to overcome for a young but improving Indiana team. And James carries again. You know, a lot of bowl reps were here this weekend and today to watch the Hoosiers. There's some talk of the Outback Bowl with. So tough. They're long. 305, 310, 313. I expect Ohio State to just sit here with the run game. Second down and four to 26. And once again, it's J.K. Dobbins, and he picks up the first down. Michael Dana, the Central Michigan transfer with the tackle. Love that in ball games. Let, let it all. Don't leave anything going into the offseason. I know C.D. Lamb had a great year at Oklahoma. As uh, they run Harris here, and he gets down to about the 40. An incompletion and a huge play was that anticipation that Mac Jones showed. Jones to throw again. Now he steps up and runs instead, and he gets leveled by McGrone and Michael Dana. Proved by number 13 being out there sharing the huddle with him. Sure. So I think if he decides to come back, you might see a huge trickle down in that regard. Harris forward progress stopped at the two.